Hi everyone, and welcome back. So what we're gonna get into today is we're gonna talk about why is motion so important? This is one of my favorite kind of topics here because people often think motion isn't as important as it actually is. So let's jump right in. So why is motion important? You know, motion design is a very crucial element in making users' interactions with a brand's digital products more intuitive and streamlined. And people don't understand that. And one of my favorite quotes is, motion tells stories, everything in an app is a sequence, and motion is your guide. For every button clicked and screen transition, there is a story that follows. And that couldn't be any more true. I'm sure some of you may know this quote. So let's get into some of the things that really bother me in terms of the misconceptions that people do have about motion. Unfortunately, motion is just an afterthought in a lot of product teams in like fast paced startups or startups that, you know, just don't want to maybe spend the money or the time to really develop their motion design practice. So let's get into some of the common misconceptions that I often hear. I actually hear this day to day, but you know, it's always getting better as long as you have somebody advocating for it. So let's get right into it. Now, this is a big one. You know, people often say, you know, you should be focusing on other things. Motion is just not a core part of the UX right now. You know, we'll, we'll do it after in a later release. And people generally believe that you know, the cores of a product is just basically all the other facets of design, like the UX, the UI, and research. And that kind of means that, you know, motion is separate from the design process and doesn't play a large role in the actual usability of products. And that's just not true because motion really does help to kind of tell stories. If you think about like this little application here, this little example I have on the right, if you see how the user goes through the flow, understands that their form is being processed, sees the different types of content actually come onto their screen, they're able to process all that information differently and understand where they are within the flow. Let's take a look here. See if the content comes in nicely. And as they're going into the flow here, they see the button pop up. They can see where they are within the flow. They can see that their flow is processing and complete. Let's get on to the next one. Another misconception. We can just add motion later. Now, motion is generally not considered, you know, in the bulk of work that it takes to actually create like a full digital product. And there's just that this idea here where people think that once everything else has been completed, then they can just add motion later without just giving it much thought. And when people think like this, they actually, you know, they neglect to think about all the ways motion has affected interaction concepts that couldn't exist otherwise. Let's take a look at this example over here. If we didn't think about motion and how motion really helps the usability of this little product, and every type of transition here just happened instantly, you know, it would be really, really hard for the user to comprehend what's actually happening. You know, anything from the swiping and the touch gestures to how this screen transition leads to a full size picture. If that all happened without motion, it would be really abrupt for the user. And thinking about that at the beginning of the process of designing, is just much more intuitive in the end when you have your final results. Here's another one. Motion is just animation. You know, it is true that there is a lot of animation sometimes in motion and that's totally fine, but it isn't just animation. People often just make this assumption that it is. And animation, you know, it includes things that move and draws from our understanding of like classic animation. You know, the one thing that comes to mind when I think about this is like Pixar, Disney, all those kind of animated movies. But generally, when people think like this, they just think of motion as a way to kind of add personality to design and product. And ultimately, that's just not true as well. Although animation is kind of part of motion, you know, motion just 
isn't that. As we look into the example to our right, we can see how motion really helps connect these two types of concepts of these people that you're inviting. It allows users to kind of make that connection quickly and in a fun way. So it is adding a bit of animation, but it's doing it for the purpose of usability and delight. 